Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes channel. So 12 and a half years ago, my husband and I brought home a cute little golden doodle puppy who we ended up naming Chloe. Little did we know though that we were scammed by the breeder who sold her to us. But before I reveal too much, let's get into it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more doodle content. So recently I've been really intrigued by dog DNA tests. It's not that I've ever been suspicious of Chloe's genetic makeup, but since we started Doodle Dudes, I really wanted to be able to firsthand recommend what the best dog DNA tests are. So off I went, I spent over $300 for this experiment and I bought two of the highest rated dog DNA kits on the market and those were the Embark Breed and Health Test Kit and the Wisdom Panel Premium Test Kit. Now, this video isn't going to be a review of those two dog DNA kits. That will be in a different video coming later, but I am really anxious to share the results from those tests and how exactly they indicate that we were scammed by Chloe's breeder 12 years ago. But before that, let's get into the backstory. I remember it vividly. My now husband and I had been dating for about a year and we were 19 years old, young and a little dumb, and we decided we wanted a puppy. Despite being starving college students and living in a non-pet friendly apartment, but I digress. Anyway, we started our search on a local classifieds website. Soon enough, we came across this adorable listing with these super cute pictures of these little puppies. And as stated in the listing, it said that the puppies were English cream golden doodles. It stated that they were non-shedding and that they would be mini in size. And even though this was 12 years ago, I still vividly remember the details of the listing because we were specifically looking for a small, uh, non-shedding dog, something that kind of resembled my parents' Shih Tzu. I have to admit though that I had never heard of a golden doodle, and so I do remember also doing some quick Google searches to find out exactly what that was. We were so smitten by the pictures though that one thing led to another and pretty soon we had plans to meet up with the breeder. The breeder actually said that she was coming to a location near our address and so we could actually meet up with her along with some other people at that place and time. And looking back, this was definitely a red flag. Knowing what I know now about reputable breeders, you should always try and see the actual home environment that the puppies are born and raised in. And so for her to suggest that we meet her somewhere else in public definitely is a red flag. Well, that and the fact that the breeder was selling her puppies through the classifieds was probably the first red flag. But again, we were young and dumb and we didn't have any idea what a reputable breeder was or what that process even looked like. And all we wanted was the puppy. So anyway, when we got there, the breeder had already set up and she had a couple of her puppies kind of just roaming around on a strip of grass. And hindsight again is 2020, a uh, huge red flag. Puppies that young should not be roaming around in public. Like there is a huge risk of parvo and a responsible breeder should just not have allowed that to happen. So anyways, we initially had our eye on Chloe's brother, actually, because he was a lot more mellow than she was, and 
I don't know, there was just something about Chloe for me that just really vibed and the rest is history. <laughs> Our very energetic puppy is not so energetic anymore 12 years later. No, but Chloe is still going very strong and no, she never got parvo, thank goodness. And over the years, she has totally taught us what unconditional love is. She has brought us so many memories and she still to this day brings me and my husband and now our little daughter complete joy every single day. And it's just been an amazing blessing to have her in our family. And let's be clear, I could not care less about what kind of dog she is. But let's get back to the topic at hand, which is based off of two separate companies' DNA tests, Chloe's breeder scammed us 12 years ago. Guys, my golden doodle is not a golden doodle. So what is she? Well, see for yourself. Okay, so I got Chloe's DNA results in from Wisdom Panel, and so we're gonna check them out. And we'll just see. Okay. We detected six breeds in Chloe's DNA. Are you kidding? Wait, what? <laughs> I. Mm, I don't know if I buy that. It says 47% Poodle, 14% Labrador Retriever, 14% Siberian Husky, 10% German Spitz, and 9% Collie. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know if I buy that. Alright, let's go check this out because I'm really, really interested. <laughs> That is so weird. Oh, 6% Boston Terrier. <laughs> so at least she's like half poodle. <laughs> but what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's see. Standard poodle collie mix. Wow, okay. This is really fascinating. I really hope that the Embark test shows the same thing. Because I'm not quite convinced right now. We're excited to see what Embark says because Wisdom Panel gave us kind of a surprise. So let's get into it. Perfect mix of four breeds. Oh gosh. nothing more than a product of a golden retriever and a poodle and it turns out she has zero percent again that is zero percent 
golden retriever in her. And this is reported back by two separate dog DNA test companies. Of course, this does not affect my love for Chloe in the slightest, but I am really dumbfounded at the fact that her breeder lied about the puppies. Based on the test results, Chloe is thankfully half poodle, but she has 0% golden retriever and about 14 to 21% Siberian Husky, along with a couple of other things. So that means that one of her parents was a poodle and the other was a Siberian Husky mix. So you're telling me the breeder saw that dog and thought, huh, that is definitely a golden retriever. Hmm, this is the part that dumbfounds me. Why not just say, hey, I have some Husky doodles or hey, I've got some poodle mix puppies. People would buy them either way. Why do you have to lie about it? And to think that she only wanted $250 per puppy, it's not like she was losing a lot. On the flip side though, my husband and I definitely should have been more informed. We definitely should have thought more about the ethics and the process that a reputable breeder should have. We should have asked her questions, we should have demanded to see uh, her home environment. We should have followed up on getting the health documents from her, which by the way, she promised to email us, but never did, another red flag. But to let bygones be bygones, we don't regret getting Chloe at all. Like I mentioned, she's brought us so much joy and happiness over the years, I would, never put a price tag on her and I would never ever ever trade her for anything. But again, we only paid $250 for her that day and there are people out there right now that paid way more than that to get a dog that isn't actually the dog that they were promised. So if any of this can be a lesson to anyone who is thinking about bringing home a doodle puppy, just make sure to ask the right questions. Do your due diligence. Try and see the breeder's home if possible. Try and meet the puppy's parents if possible. Make sure that the puppies are actually being raised inside of a home with personalized on-demand care. And try and make sure to get any proof of health documentation or lineage documentation, any of that will help to make sure that you're dealing with not a scammer, but a reputable breeder. As for us, well, we went over 12 years believing and telling people that Chloe is a golden doodle. So what now? Is she a husky doodle? Is she a mutt doodle? What do we call her? I don't even know, and this is something difficult and strange to try and wrap my head around. What do you think we should call her? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, whether you've been with us from the very beginning or have just found us, thanks so much for watching. Create a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable doodle content. Later dudes! Ha, ha, ha.